Hello, my name is James Klim. Let's talk about the design phase screen. Um, this is where it's really easy to dink. Do you have dinkingitis or do you like to dink? A lot of dentists do. Um, I do. The purpose of the design screen is to stay simple. There's three steps that I use when I'm using Biogeneric. I'm gonna make sure the tooth fits the arch from a rotational standpoint and a position standpoint. Then I'm gonna finish my occlusion using the tool features and then I'm gonna finish my interproximal and then I mill. When I'm using BioCopy, just, just, this is actually easier. Uh, BioGeneric Reference, there's a little more tweaking of the teeth. We have to often uh, take and, and change maybe the, uh, the torque of the tooth and those things. We have the tools for it. The tools in 4.2 aren't much different than 4.0, but you will see a few changes in what we call the Move Tool. The Move Tool now includes positioning and rotation, and it also includes the dimension tool. So that is kind of nice. And for those working on anterior teeth, we now have what we call incisal variation. I had to think for a moment on that. Now, the incisal variation, in my opinion, it works for both biocopy and biogeneric reference or biogeneric individual. And I would have to say that this one aspect of the software has just taken anterior work to a whole new level. Now, incisal variation is what I have always considered to be what I do with my burrs. In other words, I'm grinding in my primary and secondary grooves in the little pericamata. You can now apply that virtually. Thank you, Serena. You guys are brilliant. A few other new features on this screen are there. For instance, if you want to look at the uh, information for how thick your restorations are, you can turn that on. That's called the cursor detailed information in your side panel there. I used to like the software where we had the uh, dimensional metrics of our restoration on the lower right. You know, some of you, uh, you've got to put that cursor over the grooves to make sure you're thick enough. Now, my attitude is I prep enough so I don't really think about that. And then in 4.0, they added those metric dimensions in a little box that would follow your cursor around that you wanted to slap out of the way. It created a little emotional irritation to me and my wife said that's something I needed to get over. Probably some issues of the past. Well, Shro and I thank you for being a little therapist for me because now you've placed the box on the left side. We don't have to slap it away and it's always there for you. And it will show up when your cursor is on the tooth. So thank you. Are you really that thankful for it? I think you will be. Other features here in um, particularly small design, look at this side panel. You have some new features within having a grid, a three-dimensional grid when you're in small design, or you can bring up the patient's face and look at the teeth as you're finishing your restorations to make sure it looks good in the face. And the small design is all about looking good in the face, which is Shrona's has done that for us in small design. We have articulation that if you go to your side panel, you have the ability to look at articulation, which is great. Now, when you're doing articulation, you want to scan in to the contralateral canine because it does take consideration of pertussive and canine guidance. And you can set up the metrics on your articulator to properly represent pertussive and posterior guidance. Now, I have the Galileus, so I will gather my joint metrics and my positioning of my model from measuring in my Galileus scan, which is pretty cool. I don't use articulation for just a single tooth, but if I'm doing multiple teeth or if I have those patients that like to slide sideways, you know, they chew more like a cow than a beaver, that's where articulation comes in great. We have the virtual grind for that. Now I'm going on and on and on, but this window is a great window. We have new assets to streamline our finishing. It's never been better. So I hope you enjoy it. Of course, I know you will enjoy it because I'm in tool heaven, but yet I try to avoid using tools unnecessarily. It's a little tug between my right brain and my left brain. And sometimes my right brain and left brain get into a boxing match. Okay, be honest with me. Does that happen to you? Well, we don't have to let it happen too much since Sharon has helped us with our internal boxing matching. Thank you, Sharona, for providing great tools and streamlining this page. It's never been better and I sure enjoy it.